this is really uh, an investor persona that is um, that, that I'm going to show, and I I call it autonomous AI uh, SEC 10K analysis. So so what first of all is an SEC 10K? So so for investors, you know, uh, every company will have an annual report. Uh, so this is uh, a company that I invest in, uh, NVIDIA. Uh, so there's 169 pages of this PDF that really describes all their business and, and what they do. Um, so this is really useful for uh, value investors. Um, and the use case I want to show is how to use NT and as uh, part of the uh, investment process uh, using uh, also this idea of uh, autonomous AI. So, so uh, the use case is to automatically analyze the SEC 10K to get a depth of insight of the company. Uh, so what's really cool about this use case is that um, we're actually gonna use the AI to figure out even what the right questions to ask, right? So um, as, as part of uh, get, getting that insight and the approach that we're going to use is kind of take two personas. Uh, so one is um, so 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 the mindset here is that think of it that you've got a virtual uh, uh, team of of of, of um, uh, crew members that uh, perform different things. So for example, you have on your team a senior research analyst uh, who uncovers insights into uh, Nvidia, and you also have a, a tech content strategist, the person who then is able to articulate that information after the analyst is uh, is, is um, finished analyzing this SEC 10K. So here's the architecture here, All right? So so I'm uh, it, it's it's somewhat similar to what uh, Oleg was showing earlier with respect to the the, the vector store. So um, you know uh, I'm using NT10 uh, to um, and the Langchain support to uh, get this. Vector store, which I've populated it with um, the SEC 10K information, and then uh, this is going to be uh, used uh, uh, to kind of like um, a, a webhook uh, type of uh, approach, where my crew of AI agents will call into uh, NA10, and uh, this will serve as uh, a, a way to answer the questions. Right. So, so. Uh, I'll, I'll just give you ahead of time. Here's an example of the result that it generates. Just kind of give you a feeling on on where we're going with this. So this is actual output. This is actual output. Uh, you know, uh, what Oleg was showing in his uh, presentation. You know, you, you, you're trying to look at does the model actually produce good output, right? Uh, you know, and, and, and the the cloud models are, are really good, but. Uh, I'm using a, a actually for this one a, actually a much cheaper model, right? It's it's actually the mixtural model uh, that uh, is actually 27 cents per million uh, uh, per million tokens, right? So it's very very inexpensive uh, model, and and look at the results that you can get, right? So all with SCC 10k information, you know, you actually get this depth of reporting that as actually as an Nvidia investor, I I also learned something new uh, from from. From working through this, so so let me show you first um, uh, the the um, let me show you my hand to hand workflow, right? So this workflow, uh, I mean, it's it's not a very complicated workflow, and it's uh, um, actually quite simple, right? So there's an upserting up part here where you you chunk the data and, and put it in this case i'm using a uh, vector store a super super based vector store um and oleg was showing uh the a, a memory one um so this one will persist and and so all i'm doing here is using a retrieval model i, I did something kind of cool there but but i um I'll, I'll skip that for now uh but but the idea here is that i i use this for the, the q a for my sec so so i upload it at, at, I upload the SEC 10K information from here, and then I now have this Q&A that I can do, do this. So, all right, so here is then the thing that drives it. So I am in this, um, uh, I call it, it, it's a riplet. So, so uh, this is Python code, very simple Python code that uh, I, I select what the model I'm using. So this is a very inexpensive, uh, a very inexpensive model. Um, and then I, I tell it, you know, here's the uh, different personas, different agents. And the key thing here is the tools, right? So this is like, I tell it here, the SEC tools. So I've specified 
the tool. And this tool is a simple call to the webhook. Okay, so I'm going to uh, uh, hook this up and have this uh, senior research ag agent uh, call this uh, when, when it needs to. And then the tech content strategists, uh, they're going to uh, summarize uh, the information from the, the researcher. And then here's the task, right? The first task is going to be done by the um, by, by the researcher, and they're going to conduct a comprehensive analysis. And I've, I've given it some starting points, all right? And what, what's cool about this is that it, it gives some, there's some starting points, but the AI is able to kind of fill in the blanks in terms of like what questions to ask. And, and so I've give, on the right-hand side is actually a, a result of the run. So I'll, I'll just run it right now just to, to show you uh, what to expect. Okay, so what this will do is I'll start up uh, this, uh, this task here. So I am living a little bit dangerously. I'm doing live demo. Uh, I, recording may, may be a better approach, but okay. <laughs> so, so you can see here um, that uh, it's running, right? And, and, and it's asking, you know, so the AI is actually figuring out what question to ask, you know, what are the uh, primary business models of NVIDIA? Right, and then it's gonna go and uh, go to the NA10, and yeah, so so it's actually getting this response from the NA10 workflow. I can kind of show you that it's real, right? So see, it's, it's running right now, and it's calling in, it's calling it, and you can actually see the answers from here, right? So it's actually getting that information from any and, and and the database and 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 it will run through and uh, so so it'll, it'll run through and uh, uh, generate the different kinds of questions and and uh, you know kind of get the the results based on 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 um, you know doing the question answer and then summarize the report but but you know it's really cool because it's uh, you know generating this uh, these questions and formulating, uh, getting the answers back from from uh, the, the vector store, and then from there it's gonna um, it's gonna put the put the answers back together. So so that's kind of the the, the gist of of this workflow. And and at the end of this, it takes maybe like two or three minutes to run, and um, and you can see you know that. Uh, you know, it's it's uh, it's right. So at the end, it's going to produce something like this. I mean, there's a little bit of uh, randomness in terms of sometimes it generates uh, large larger context or la larger output, and sometimes uh, less. But um, it's it's generally pretty good in terms of calling the the uh, models and and, and whatnot, or call, calling the tools and whatnot. But I guess what what the other thing I wanted to quickly show is that. One of the, the cool things I, I really like about this uh, use case uh, with autonomous AI and 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 intent is that uh, you can you can like the tools using connecting uh, the the the, uh, the flows into the the tools right the the, the crews into the tools is that you know it, it opens up uh, all the sets of tools all the workflows that are and templates that are available in NA10 and all these agents now would have access to all these different tools as they do different uh, use cases, right? So I, I think it's super powerful, right? When you when you now have an agent that is uh, souped up with all kinds of tools that are powered by end-to-end. -end. Um, so anyway, that, that's, that's a short uh, summary of, of the, the, the use case and example.